Legend of Total War here with part 15 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as um, England. Alright, so previously we wiped out the uh, Hungarians and we unfortunately killed the Polish king, which means they're now recommunicated, yes. so we can't send the Crusade to go kill them, but that's okay. Um, we'll just focus on the Crusade target being. Um, what's their face? Hail Mongols. My king. At Vilnius and Riga. Alright, so, I think we've got some construction to do. Let's get onto it. Now, people do often ask, why don't I ever auto-manage stuff? Well, because I don't want to. Whenever I don't do something, just assume I don't want to. I, I play the game the way I want to. That's... That should be pretty obvious. It's not like I don't know it's there. I know it's there, I just don't want to use it. I'm a control freak. I like to take full control of the situation. I don't know, I enjoy going through and building stuff, but I do. I am aware that it's not the most interesting thing to just go around through this list and just click things all the time. And in my opinion, the, the build system in this game is, is great. You know, it's far better than Total War Warhammer and Rome 2 and Attila. Because the thing about this is, yes, you have unlimited build slots, but you can only build one thing at a time. And buildings can be destroyed. And yeah, so some of the buildings don't necessarily have negatives, but that's not necessarily so. Anything that increases population growth also increases, increases squalor. You want to get these settlements to grow, and so you have to consistently build. Not like in Total War Warhammer, where after a while you just you, you don't need to build anything else, just forget it. Because the settlements don't grow, like you don't get more squalor as they get larger. That's why this system is the best. It's dynamic, and I think it's it's way more realistic. Alright, so these guys... You'll need to punch through that. As you way. command, my liege. An honorable, glorious... Command me, sire. They wish they... Ah. Oh. I'm wiped it out. Good Such stuff. Such is the fate of all who will... Hail my king. Yes, my liege. An order. Okay, that's probably gonna have to starve that out. That's pretty large. But as long as they succeed, then that's all that really matters. Ships ready. And the grapples and prepared to board. Fucking Sicilians. I better not get in trouble for Our that. People rule these waters, sire. Hail my king. Okay, is there anything else I need to do? Looking over here. Okay, they're they're here. My lord. And it's time to make the attack. If we want to stop them from taking Iconium, because if they come over there and they occupy, it's not such a big deal. But if they if they exterminate the settlement, that is a big deal because then we lose a lot of buildings. Sire, yes. As you come orders. Yes, sir. My lord. So bring in a load of troops over here. Orders. Yes, sire. Command me, sire. See, yes, even that, sire. even with, with all these numbers the here, that's still a bit iffy. Okay, good. Didn't necessarily have to go that way, but we really bought lots of numbers. Execute them. Glorious victory is ours, sire. And those are the king's orders as well. I mean, because if you think about it, a good king protects his people. They're here to kill us. Um, by killing a few thousand men, we save tens of thousands. It had to be done. Orders. Sire, as you wait. Then again, the code of chivalry, does that really demand I that? Don't, don't know, I'm not sire. too familiar on the code of chivalry. I really just try to do what's right. Yes, sire, and for me, killing those people was, was the as right thing wait. to do. Okay, I don't think they can join another jihad, because it's probably been more than 10 turns now. Alright, let's move on.
A new plague oh, grips damn. the land. The Black Death rides upon the wind, killing all who breathe it in a matter of days. What horrible crime has mankind committed for God to punish the whole world so horribly? All right, so with that coming in, what is this? All oh, right. Okay, hang on, I can fix that. Yes, command me, sire. My king, splitting the forces apart, sire. Okay, We're so. We're combining into a huge force, hmm. sire. my lord. With the Black Death coming, we need to be somewhat careful. We can be silly out here and get rid of them. Marching to war. The day is ours, sire. So yeah, with the Black Death coming in, we've got to be careful about sending our armies inside of settlements because once once the plague hits, everything's going to be quarantined. It's a bad time to be dealing with the Mongols because they won't give a shit. Yes. What am I going to do with you? I might send you up here so that you can deal with Helich. My lord. Got to be mindful of where these guys are able to go though. Keep them all together. Because as long as they're adjacent to a uh, general with his own crusade, they won't desert. I'm pretty sure. Good, they gave up the siege there, that helps. I don't think we'd be able to beat that, though, with what we've got here. Hail my king. Might as well grab that, we've got heaps of cash. Hail I mean, we can give it a king. shot, but losing would just strengthen them. Was Although they really can't get much stronger than that. You all look alike to me. I think the main thing my we need lord, to do is just lord. get the fuck up here and finish them off. As you wait, your will, sir. I mean, taking out all their settlements won't wipe out the faction. But it will stop them from being able to recruit. Your will, sire. Oh, they're not able to move any further because they fucked up with that. Um, here's what we do. Orders. Splitting our forces, sire. Merging armies, my lord. They should come off the crusade. Fortifications, my lord. Joining the others, sire. Your will, sire. To war, then, sire. Hail my king! An order! Right. Hail my so king! So down here. As you come, my king. Oh shit. Um. Why are you so slow? My lord. Maybe it's An you. Order. No, it's not you, it's the infantry that's slowing us down. My lord. Hail my king! Because they'll sell you out if we don't send yes. enough force into, um. Like, you're gonna Hail have to back king. off. An order. I didn't know these guys were so far off. We can open the gate, but As you command, my liege. no chance of victory on that. Siege, what we can do is have a look, see what the odds are. They siege, might not sell you out. Command, me, I'll send in, oh god, two extra men. Yes. Combining force, my king. My lord. Orders. We'll see. If they sell you out, we'll have to pull back and just attack them next turn. All right, where to go next? What are we doing? So these guys up here, I'm not too sure what to do with them. I'm like, we can try to attack them, but I'm not confident. I will take your lungs and women, regardless. Okay, bring some of these guys in. Yeah, you get these. I don't know if that'll maintain public order though. And it's at eighty percent. Build that. Hail Just um, stay over here. Hail my deter king. them from coming to attack us. Yes, my liege. Sire. Yes, sire.
Actually, no. Go with something a bit more economical. Yeah, we start to get to the point now where we just fill up the queue. If it's not important what we construct. Okay, Milan, we can we can lower the taxes here now. We don't need to worry about high taxes. I think we're good for cash. Oh geez, we didn't spend all the money. Well, that's fine. I mean, that's what it's there for. My lord. So next turn we'll be able to get to Vilnius, and then not too long after that we'll get to Kiev. Now, if or not Kiev, um, Riga. If we have a look at this, how have the Mongols been faring? So their military strength is down by more than half of what they used to be. I mean, that was overall ranking. Militarily, yeah, far more than half has gone. Our military strength has gone down as well, but maybe that's just because I haven't been recruiting much lately. I haven't needed to. Um, production. Territory, they're at two. Financially, they're still rich, because most of their units are um, free upkeep. Okay, let's move on. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. The enemy lays siege to our people, sire. Well, they're not going to win. Sire, we should withdraw. Okay, that's good. Going back across the river, brought us some time. So they want to stand in our way here, but I don't think we should try and meet them out in the open field. We're going to try and go around them, but they've blocked the way. I might need to just bypass them and go straight for um, Riga. Splitting forces, sire. So I think I forgot to get this guy moving. Okay, so what's this? Failed jihad. That's good. Now. Hail my king. I don't need you to be like With right honor, up sire. at him. We shall continue to orders. Okay, we can still get there, but we have to go around them. Because going Order through them, I don't think that's going fight. to work. Their, uh, their troops are too good. And it looks like it's a completely well, full stack, and we just don't have a full yeah. stack. So these guys here, they've, yep, they've come off the crusade. So they've come, become richest again. So, Tbilisi is the first to get hit with the plague. That's fine. At the very least, it will reduce the um, the population of a lot of my settlements, which should actually help public order for a little while. All right, now we have an issue over here. Face me in battle. It is the honourable way to resolve this. All right, there's actually quite a lot of settlements here that have plague. That doesn't have plague, so we. Hmm. My lord. The Sorry. question here. I'm just not sure if I should go through it. Like, I need more heavy cavalry. My he my heavy infantry are not going to help. Because they're not going to engage with us. Attacking them head-on is going to be very difficult. Hail my king! But if we do, we, it's easier to... We get to Vilnius and then we can get away to Riga. Or we just bypass Vilnius and go straight to Riga. But then these guys are there. Was it your brother? Orders. And they have to be killed All at some point. I know they do. We have to kill the generals. And he doesn't have a general. But still. My lord. Just talk because I know that like it's less than 50-50 to win this. This is really gonna be difficult. Your will, sire. Maybe having a few flagellants come in as reinforcements. My, they're probably just going to die straight away, but at the very least, if they um, 
Leaving the army. My lord. Waste their ammo. This is a perfect position to ambush. I could make a big Emerging difference. Emerging armies, my lord. Sire. By your command. Your will, sire. Okay, so Bounce of Hell is in my favor, but you got to take into consideration what we're going up against here. Our army's not suited for this. We're certainly going to have to set up deploy stakes. They don't have artillery. They may or may not come to us. I shall oh, more on. I forgot to put them on battle, AI control. Because them coming in late in the battle is not going to help. Okay, it's a good field for us. Now, the way we deploy here is going to determine whether or not we win this battle. Alright, so... Firstly, just get all the missile units to stand back. Just to begin with. Now, where are we going to set you up? Set you up on high ground so that you don't shoot the, head, the back of the heads of my troops. So there seems good. Now we need to make sure we don't get flanked by their um, by their cavalry. We need to deploy enough stakes that um, just a head-on charge will not work for them. We want them to have to go around us. Doesn't have to be perfect, they can be gaps. Okay, that's pretty good. Keep these guys here. Keep the spears on this side here, because that's where they're um, not particularly well defended. Let's do this. They might come at us, they might not. Based on what I'm seeing here, they might try to play this defensively. But these culverins, they should be able to hit them even from that distance. I haven't even shot a single shot with theirs yet. They're going around the back of my army. Setting up on, on the high ground over here. Arches of what's going to win us this battle or not. You get any kills? Hard to tell. Yeah, one or two. Nothing major just yet. Problem is shooting up the up the hill here isn't really going to work well for us. Okay, that's not too bad. We're getting a few hits. Alright, you just keep doing that. Because after they've run out of ammo, I can tell them to leave the battlefield. Our and men have slain the Saracen Holy general. shit. Now we must send his men running. That is really to going to help. I didn't expect to actually kill that motherfucker. Good old cannons. That's it. Try and take out their heavy cavalry. Because we're going to struggle against them. Cannons way better than trebuchets. Still 
probably getting a heap of kills. Maybe we can try with some flaming ammo, some exploding shots, but I just don't think they're going to be very accurate. Yeah, it's, it's completely missing. It's just not the right angle for it. Okay, 5% is not, not too bad. Right, you can leave the battlefield now. Now, the problem is that they have the high ground. We need to get them off the high ground. Now, I really want to use these sharpened stakes, but... Nope, they won't be having any of that. Of course, a lot of their troops are um, archers as well. Makes things difficult. Oh, hang on, we got some guys coming in here. This is what we want. Somewhat. They're not, they're not doing an all-out charge. Right, where's my... Okay, you need to be taking out their missile cap. I'm glad they're using flaming shot because that's not very effective. But we don't have the high ground here. That's a problem. So we need to be charging into the... Mm, let's be careful. They're not dedicating their entire army to this right now. Come on, guard mode. How do we go with that? We got the better of them. We killed more than we lost. Hard to tell if we've got missile superiority or not. I mean... I don't like loose formation, I just don't think it will help much. Alright, I want you two to come out over here. Let's take out their horse archers over here. Put you in loose formation. Damn terrain not being favourable for me. Come into charge, then we send in the cavalry. My guys are not going to break. We've got full command here, we'll be fine. You guys are all shooting over there. Good, they blobbed up a little bit over here. Being in loose formation like that's not going to help them. Shooting circle's not going to help them that much right now either. How are we going? 7 to 20%. Good work, we're getting there. Seems like the retinue longbowmen have slightly better range than the uh, the longbowmen. What are they doing? They, they're not coming into an all-out attack. Balance of power is moving in our favour. Gotta get rid of them. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Okay, send him in charge into that. Should get a nice big fat charge into them.
Them shooting into my heavy trips right now is really not a good idea. Because the skirmish is what's going to win or lose this battle for them. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay. They can't run away very well when they're in this formation, so go charge them. Main problem is, how the fuck are we going to get rid of those those heavy cavalry with very few spearmen? Oh, I forgot to listen to the speech on this one. I could have had something interesting to say against the Mongols. Okay. Seem to be doing pretty well. Are they withdrawing? I don't think so. Seems... I mean, that's what I'd do if I was in their position. They've, they've clearly lost the battle. Well, not necessarily. I mean, I've got... You'd have heavy cavalry to press the attack. They're just being too passive. No, they're not withdrawing. Alright, so... Yeah, don't bother about using the spikes. It's not, not helping us in this one. Okay, everyone get into loose formation. Oh, you can't reach them from there? Oh, getting closer then. And it's okay if they charge their cavalry into us here. Because someone's going to have to take the charge. Might as well be the guys that are not that much used to us now in the battle. They're almost out of ammo. They won't charge. Half of them did. Okay, these guys here are still shooting. Not anymore though. Okay, it seems like we won the skirmish. That's what we needed. I mean, when it comes down to dealing with their heavy cavalry, just by a stupid melee, we have more troops than they, than they can deal with, so we should be fine. Two retinue longbowmen here that are out of ammo, might as well take them off the battlefield. They're not going to be any use to us in melee, especially if they're not exhausted. Get rid of the cavalry. Send them over here to get rid of these Mongol horse archers. They don't seem to have as much heavy cavalry as I thought. I've definitely got some. Chase him down. Okay, they're, they're withdrawing. Get rid of their infantry, because obviously we're not going to get rid of their cavalry. Cowardly foe runs. Yeah. It's time they live to fight another day, but that's okay. Because I didn't want to fight them. I, they're just in my way. Where'd that other arm? Ah, uh, unit go. Over here.
This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and. So good. I was really worried about that one, but uh, we got through it pretty well. Good. Glorious victory is ours. Sire. He's somewhat chivalrous. Actually, not at all, but still. Okay. All of those units ran back to the ca uh, to the castle here, fortress. So of course we need to fight them again, but they're not going to perform as well inside of here. Your will, sire. Orders. Orders. To war, then, sire. So now we can hunt them down my here. Lord. No escape for them this time. Yes, sire. My lord. Right, sire. There's no additional mercenaries. Sire. Yes. Orders. As you wish. And they've got Khan Batu. Their faction leader, along with some other units that they've been recruiting. Time to kill him. Your will, sire. This is why it was important not to take too many casualties here, because if we took heaps, then we wouldn't be able to deal with this. To battle it is, then, sire. The balance of power is already not particularly good. But we can deal with this. We, I can win. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. Water resolve would be no chance, but manually resolve, we've, we've got a chance. Our foes are ungodly beasts. And so we are but the swords in the hands of the hosts of heaven. We do God's glorious work. And if we fall, we do so in his cause. If we triumph, we do so because he has willed an English victory. Now, bow your heads. Then, let's to the appointed task. I do not think honest. English men at arms should feel anything other than pity when they see our mongrel foes. Pity for the horses having to support such asses. <laughs> now, lads, this will need courage. We must advance into a hail of missiles and then kill them. And after all that. Just go and kill those ass nibbling, merkin grabbing, loom faced idiot nun fondlers, will you? Alright then. First thing we gotta do is decide which side is gonna be the best way to attack. Seems head on, seems alright. Punch through here and then through there. No problem. These things make very short work of walls. No point putting sharpened stakes down. It's not going to do anything. Once this wall's down, they'll probably retreat to the inner, inner castle. My lord, we've breached our enemy's walls. We got a good shot on them there. If you, if you can get a few shots in, that'll be good. Don't use explosive shot just because it's so fucking inaccurate. At least this is accurate. I gotta be careful, we cannot use up all of our ammunition, but it's a good opportunity to do some damage to them. They've done a really good amount of kills, like 10% is great. You just really gotta keep keep an eye on this. The enemy king nice. is slain! A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. We must press our advantage. 
Okay, that, that's enough. Well done to the artillery. I guess they were worth waiting for after all. 17%. But we still need that ammunition to take out that section there. Now, given this right here... I mean, it's just, it's just crying out for, for them to be shot. Okay, I need these guys to come over here as backup. So you just get in range. Get good line of sight. And start shooting in there. Because they're being really fucking stupid right now. And if they just sit there, then that works for me. These, these Mongols, like I said, they're an attacking faction. They don't know how to defend for shit. Which is why you need to fight them inside of a set settlement and kill them there. Shit, 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 whatever. Did you move forward or something? Don't want them firing back. That would make things fair. Can't have that. These are invaders into these lands. They don't deserve to be here. Kill them all. Religion. You're just using exploits. Just because the AI is sitting there doing nothing doesn't mean you should shoot them. Yeah, right. Yes, because if you if you were fucking dealing with the Mongols, you would you would put your army at risk. Just to be honourable, wouldn't you? And your men would respect you for it. Yeah, the general. Yeah, he put our lives at risk, but at least he wasn't using exploits. Yeah, we nearly all died in that battle because, uh, you know, he didn't want to shoot the enemy from far. Kind of that. Yeah, I really respect it. But my brother died in the battle, by the way. And my father. And six of my cousins. But, you know, honorable general. It's okay. Holy shit. It's not often you get a uh, an opportunity like this, but when you, you get it, fucking drink it up. They're firing back, that's okay. Nearly half of them dead already. And I thought this was going to be a difficult fight. Only half the enemy force remains. Plus one percent. So they lost about they lost 17 men on that, that's okay. Here up next. You see, they're not very good at hitting small targets like this. They need to be hitting concentrated ones like this, but the problem is that they're firing back. Still, it's only just one man, just get a little bit closer. You gotta be shooting at this giant blob here. That's gonna save lives by killing all of them. 
Save our lives, who cares about them? Mongols don't deserve to live. They brought it on themselves. Go back to the yeah, steps, you fuck. So these are the right kind of units to use to kill the, the heavy cavalry because of their armor piercing missiles. formation because they're shooting at him. Despite the casualties we're taking, it's still worth it to do this. We're doing more damage to them than they are to us. But our luck of easy kills has pretty much run out now. Probably not going to get any more kills with the archers. Stand back. Right. I think we just need to just all out attack now. There's two thirds of them are dead. Let's just get in there and kill them. Pretty low on ammo anyway. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, really got to get in there, stop them the from shooting. Ten percent already. That's why one does not attack the Mongols head on. Get in there, cut them up. Okay, good. They're running back to the town square. These guys coming off the thing. Yep, good. Capture them. It's a real stroke of fortune that we killed their king. And we killed the general in the previous fight as well with the artillery. Also very fortunate. Okay, you start coming in over here now. Quickly, try to catch them before they break. They're already broken, try to catch them before they get inside. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, just, just back off. Back off. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, cannon needs to be positioned here so we can knock down the next section of wall. Should have enough ammunition to knock down two sections. Give these guys a bit of a break in the meantime. So, we lost about I don't know, twelve to third, uh, twelve to ten percent. On, on that attack to kill an additional 11% of them. Thanks to our archers, we, we can't lose this now. They don't have enough ammunition to kill us all. Ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. I don't know what these towers shooting at us while we're trying to get in here. I don't think I've got enough ammunition, but give it a shot anyway. So if you guys want to come in over here. Yeah, they didn't have enough ammo. We'll just see if we can get just a handful of kills. Gives these guys a bit more of a chance to, to recover their fatigue as well. Okay, 
You're being shot at. I think. Yeah, that tail shooting. Hasn't done any damage yet. Okay, we, we can't get any good shots in. Let's just go. Stand back. That's it. If we're gonna, if we're gonna lose anyone, let us lose the uh, the flagellants. I don't need them. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Get to the town square. Come on, press the fucking attack, don't run back. Only move forward, no steps back. They've got nowhere left to go. Really got to prioritize the, the horse archers. Yeah, we got this. My cavalry can can handle this from here, but I don't want to. I don't want to use them up because. By don't Saint have any George, more our men of the Lord, we've lost control of the castle. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue. Good stuff. We kicked their ass. Largely thanks to the artillery and the uh, the archers. But our army is not in great shape. victory is ours, sire. As you commanded, sire, these lands are now yours. I hope he doesn't become the crusader after this because I'm quite happy to to make his name King Stephen Lord of Terror. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to have it as. Okay, let's merge all that. How many is left in here in reserve? Okay, perfect. Still a full stack. Alright, leave behind those flagellants. It should be able to maintain public order. So just... And we reach our destination next turn. My lord. Splitting our forces, sire. Shit. As you wish. Yes, sire. I want yes. to build a watchtower here. Yes, sire. Erecting a watchtower. Sire, we're combining forces. Orders. As you wish, sire. The day is ours, sire. Sire. Okay, need to retrain some of these guys. Get ready for the, the Mongols that are coming here. Sire. You, you can stay there, it's fine. We can go no further today, sire. Good, so the Mongols is having one settlement left. That's definitely a good thing. But you know, they'll still have these two armies, which we'll need to deal with. But the Mongols' days are numbered now. There's no way they're gonna come back from this. Just seeing what else Hail I can do. My king. Okay, good. My they didn't king. sally out, so you come Command and stand right here, and yes. continue to help starving them out. Hail my king! Because yeah, we wouldn't be able to attack that. It's just there's just too many of them. Okay, we got guys heading up to Tunis, so let's try and buff up the garrison here to prepare for that. Oh, that's right, plague everywhere. 
That's gonna be annoying. It's gonna wreak havoc on my garrisons. Luckily there wasn't plague at Vilnius. There probably will be plague at Riga next turn. So he may suffer plague, but we need to just hope and take it. The Black Plague is gonna last quite some time. Alright, let's let's um let's build stuff. With all these settlements quarantined, it's really going to play havoc on our income. Oh well, it happens. There's nothing you can do to avoid the Black Plague, it's just a scripted event, it happens, and then just let it play its course and then you can leave. It's still making a lot of money. Okay, moving on. Fuck off, Germans. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. I just hope they don't go and attack Venice right after this. It is possibly a good opportunity for the um, for the Holy Roman Empire to to claim my territory because my garrisons are going to dwindle because of the plague. Well, I'm busy doing what's best for everyone and getting rid of the Mongols. But then again, once the Mongols are de dealt with, everyone else will die. Don't know if that's going to um, hold or not. Time will tell. Them rebels, they love their watchtowers. That's a lot of plague. I think most of these are. Um, Priests. Let's hope this princess, when she comes of age, doesn't um, doesn't contract the plague. Because it'll be a few turns before this plague's over. Alright, so we absolutely have to take out the settlement. There's, luckily, there's no plague there. And um, if we can deny them, like I said, if we can deny them the ability to recruit troops, we can eventually wear them down. So hunt them down wherever they go. Looks like this Mongol here might be Struggle heading up north to deal with. Like. I with will um, take your lungs what's it called? And with Russians. That's fine. It gives us a chance to uh, take Russian settlements without having to go to war with them. Orders. To battle it is then, sire. No, Laying siege, noble sire. We shall prevail in this. Well, that's siege, easy. Sire. Most of these are just As artillery. Command, my liege. Hang on. Before we do this, there's there's movements that need to be made. Hail, my king. Yes, my liege. Hail, my king. Leaving the rest of the force, sire. Yes, my liege. Is there anything else this we need to move? This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. I don't think so. We could move Hail these guys. Oh, orders. that guy must have died of old age. Hail, sire.
Yeah, that was um, Leofwine the Scarred. Died of old age. So that's the king's cousin. Rufus's son. Oh god, I hope he doesn't become deranged. So you'll have to marry Julia. Same age, third cousins. But if that's the case, we should probably get him Hail close to king. Uh, the king. Oh, de he may have plague. You'll have to, if you leave the settlement. Hail my king. It doesn't really matter if you die. Just get out. I think I only need one unit in here. Just one or two. Hail my so king. I want to get him on a ship. Does he have plague? And it doesn't have the skull there. I oh, know. He should be okay. Loading the troops into the transport, sire. And while we've got this crusa um, crusade movement, get get him close up here because his sons are going to show up wherever he does. So I want to get them close together. Yes, sir. Full sail. If he's out in the water, though, he'll show up at London. Which is fine as well. Better than Algiers. Alright, let's take Riga. Hail, my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Muster your courage, men. We... Then we need to hunt down the last of the Mongols and finish them off once and for all. And then just in time for the Timurids to show up. Well, here's a thing. I look at our foes and I see nothing but ass weasels. A bunch of piss-a-bed, cod-nibbling, rotund, hoof merchants and sheep-worrying gits. I've seen donkeys' assholes with more guts than those tosspots. So, it's time to teach the buggers a lesson in fighting like men, not Nancy Winkle pickers. Are you ready? Our Mongol enemies today think themselves to be great warriors. And perhaps they are, according to their lights. Well, I say they have met their match in you, noble and honest soldiers. <laughs> Stone smell from our enemies is not actually them, servants of Satan though they be. They have cannons among their armory in the field. And now, just go and kill those moon faced, winkle sucking, goat gobbling codpiece thieves. Do it for me. Do it for a laugh. Do it for your pox mum. Do it for your fellow ass pirating English bum jaws. But damn well do it. <laughs> Then. First things first, let's reorganize this. And an all that attack should be sufficient because it's mostly just artillery in there. As in ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. Mm, yeah, send the cavalry. F Actually, no, no. Infantry are much easier to replace. I'll maybe send a few cavalry, though, to these guys here. Um, off you go. I think they've got some spearmen, which our swordsmen will have no problem killing. Let's try to get around their back. Cut them off. Our soldiers have proved their worth. Can't get today. around them. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Good. We stopped that rocket launcher from shooting. Damn Mongol horse archers! They're going to be a big problem because we can't get through these spear militia. They're just going to shoot us. 
Okay, you come in over this way. It'll take a little while for him to get there, but if you can hit them in the flank here. Our men are winning the battle. That'll help. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I mean, they're not doing a huge amount of damage, but they're still annoying the crap out of me. He's, he's not going to win against Mongol Bodyguard. We're almost done here. At the very least, you've stopped them from shooting for the time being. Giving these guys time to finish them off. Okay, run through here. How about the cavalry? Just don't worry about them. Your presence on the battlefield may be required. So if I end up losing my entire army but winning this battle, that's fine. I mean, we can raise another army. And just depriving these guys of of their last settlement for the time being. They'll probably get another one at some point. Our men are but winning it's the time battle. to, uh, to hunt down more of their like troops. This, we will smash the enemy. So I think they start off with 13 armies. And that's been brought down to like 2 now. There could be more out there um, annoying the Mongol, uh, the uh, the Russians. I don't know. I only know of two that's out there. I've never actually seen any other faction apart from myself take out the Mongols. Okay. Our men are winning the battle. Only half the enemy force remains. Make sure you don't get killed. Hang on, hang on, slow down, slow down. You can have a little bit of a fight, but not too much. Our men have slain the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Alright, good. Beating the crap out of my infantry. What the hell are you doing there? Okay, it's, it's mostly just artillery now. As long as we don't get unlucky and he gets impaled by a ballista shot, he should be fine to come in and help. They're still getting organized anyway. Quickly move it, move it. Don't want to be in range. We're in the line of sight of those shots. Hope you enjoyed the one and only shot you're going to get. By St. George, our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. This is a clear victory that goes to only See, There's not much left of my initial army, valor. but still, the amount of men that they've killed and the amount of regions that they've conquered, it was well worth making that, um, that doom sack, I guess. Now they'll make their way over to Thorn to pick up some more troops. An honorable, glorious victory! My lord, our courage and honor have conquered! That wasn't their last settlement. So they own Novgorod now as well. Okay, well... What else do they own? 
It must have been fairly recent. I mean, that's fine. We'll, we'll definitely go over there and hit them. How many troops do they have there? We're going to need reinforcements. My lord, was it your brother I killed? Hmm. You all um, alike to It looks me. like there's a, a mix of freshly recruited units and units that they, they uh, started off with. There's a chance we'll win, but I don't know. Marching to war. Let it be defensive, because that's a citadel, right? No fortress. They'll they'll have all kinds of. Um, we'll get a bonus to um, our defenses. Once you are my prisoner, my lord, sire. Why not? The day is ours, sire. This is English soil now. Now our troops absolutely cannot stay here. The public order is going. I mean, the 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 plague is going to be here soon. All right, so just leave Hail behind a unit of flagellants and Order. let's. I mean, we could get some mercenaries on the way to um, to here. We just need to get moving. With honor, sire. Oh Power. shit! Fight me. Okay, Hail what we need to do here. King. Because we will lose against that, so we need to um, protect ourselves. Create a box around the general, so they can't get to the main force. Hail, my king! Yes, my my lord, sire. Yes, sire. Hail, my king! Like, even if I lose that army, it's not a big deal. Um, take the rest of these, except for him. Hail my king. Get to here. Should be safe there. Might help us if we had a spy. Okay, so the Mongols have a little bit more force than I thought left over. But that's okay. These guys need to get up here to reinforce King Stephen. And we need to take out Poland as well. Loads of things we need to do. With honor, my lord. Yes, sire. Okay, it might help if we raise some troops all the way back here. Problem is everything's fucking plagued. I don't think Milan is going to hold out against against them. And if I send these guys in to help, I don't think it'll it'll matter. Sire. But My Lord. they're going to make this attack Kaiser next turn Titus, anyway, I think. So let's just give it a shot. Worst case scenario is we lose. Okay, how about just stay there? That way we we've got a defensive position there. Okay, what else? I haven't seen any Sicilians bother us for a while, which is good. Sire, oh, there's these guys. Yeah, I forgot to move them. These guys haven't contracted plague yet. I should send them to Halich. We are joining the fleet, sire. Just ferry them across. Yes, sire. Orders. Boarding, sire. Oh, I can't get across. Aye, sire. Sire. Yes. Disembarking, sire. Orders, my lord. That's fine. Orders. All right, let's get to construction.
But moving on. So they're making this attack. All right, fingers crossed that um, we've got enough to repel them. Oh, thank fuck. These guys betrayed us. Well, it's the king that betrayed us, not his men. We ransomed them. Good. The day is ours, sire. See, if we had made the attack um, to Sally out, we probably wouldn't have won that. It's because we had a defensive bonus in the settlement. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. Forgot to recruit some more troops there. So we'll probably end up losing Tunis. But that's okay. We'll deal with that later. Hopefully they'll get excommunicated for this, because this is... It's bullshit. Look what they're doing. They're just constantly attacking us, and the Pope tells me to stop. Give me a break. I'll give you a break. I'll break their fucking neck. Still, no settlements lost on that turn, so that's good. Great more mortality continues. Good. The Holy Roman Empire got excommunicated. Settlements with plague. I'd say ninety thousand people died. Hail my king! Looks my like these guys are heading down south. I really need to be pushing, pushing forward this way. Yes, my king. Push him out of the way. Assembling a mighty host of your troops. All that is left for us is to fight. As you command, kill them. We'll put a fort here so those guys don't follow us. The guys that are behind us Honor now. And glory Make our way over to Novgorod, take men. it off them. And then hopefully then they've got no settlements left. from my head if there's a bigger rabble of palsied, slack-jawed fools this side of Jerusalem. Alright, well they don't... They've got some cavalry, but they're horse archers, so I don't think I need to worry about putting down spikes. I don't have any cavalry left apart from the king. All of the knights are dead. But still, they died in a good cause, killing Mongols. Yeah, that, I think we're shooting our own men, so let's, let's don't bother with that. They need to get into loose formation because we've got missile superiority, even though they've got the high ground. We might be able to hit that guy. Just here, yeah, focus on a skirmish. We've, we've got the superiority, we can kill them. I'm sure we'll, we'll dish out more cash with this than we'll take. They have lost half their men. Enemy general flees. Like the enemy army flees the field. Good, no Pursuant. captives, this is and they're a all clear wiped victory. out. A near four to one kill ratio, and then oh. they're wiped out. Good. An honourable man. Glorious. We are burning the candle victory. at both ends here with this army. Hail my king! At once, my liege. Right, who we leave behind? Of I guess the longbowmen. Let's hope there's no more forces out here. Making camp here, noble sire. 
Not just this. I mean, they could recruit up to three more troops. We've got no more mercenaries here. But hopefully, if they do recruit some troops here, it's just like spear militia. And I just have to deal with it. Hail, my king! After that, you really need to get home. Hang on, maybe you can get train your army from Vilnius. And by get home, I mean home territory. So they just they just walked off. Was it your brother, I can't. Right. You all look alike to me. Just need troops. Oh, hang on. There's um, some guys over here we could retrain. That'll be good. Sire. Hail, my king! I look forward to fighting you. So I want you to stand fairly yes, close I by to him, because you've got a a daughter to marry. Hail, my king! All right. How are we gonna do this? Order. There's too much force in there. It's going to be hard to take. Right, I have an idea. You go and besiege the settlement. You go and help him. You come and stand. There. There. Stand there. sire. You can stand over here. By your command. And Hail you attack my king. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Yes. Glory. Honor. As you wish, sire. We can't okay, get well, Hail my He shouldn't king. be able to move at least. And if they sally out, um My Lord. Orders. Well at least they're all together. Hail my king. Sire. I'd send them reinforcements, but there's just fucking plague everywhere. Thing is, when you're a big nation, the plague hits you harder than the plague would hit the smaller nation. How much longer has this got to go? Three more turns. I may actually need to lift the siege and then just re-siege it again. Just to guarantee our success here. Hail my king! Also, the longer we wait, the more mercenaries we can hire. Do they have plague in there? Eventually, surely the, the Black Plague will show up here, and that'll continue to to bring their numbers down even more. Another thing that we got to consider is that a lot of experienced units, they're going to play a big part in whether or not we'll win. All right, let's get the construction. Hang on, our king, is he still Lord of Terror? Ah, I'm still gonna call him Lord of Terror. Because Thingo the Crusader, Stephen the Crusader is not as interesting, we've already had a Crusader General King, and everyone goes on Crusade, so it's the easiest fucking trait to get. But Lord of Terror, he earned that. So yeah, just build whatever, I'm trying to improve my economy a little bit more. Farming income's not affected by plague. that. The funny thing is, is once this plague is over, to add insult to injury, Timurids fucking arrive. It's not directly after. It's pretty soon after. Okay, so you can see that income and stuff is, is way down, but that's okay. How many similars do we have now? 83. Right, moving on. Alright, what have they got? I think they'll win. Just because those dismounted feudal knights, they pack a punch. Yeah. Yeah, whatever settlements they'll take, I'll, t I'll, I'll retake them, but we've got to deal the with the Mongols. Us. We are besieged. Seems like that victory in Milan is, is short-lived. 
They're really cracking down on us here. Sire, we should retreat. I'll probably call a crusade on them next. Oh, thank fuck. Good. They died, they had nowhere to go to. And they deserve nothing short of it. I mean, the Mongols are. Uh, well, the Russians tried to take Novgorod back by the look of it, but they failed. King Stephen is massively outnumbered out there. Yes, sire. Leaving the fault to ruin. The Black Death passes. Okay. So, looking at this, uh, Novgorod has got plague, though, so that's going to suck. Will have no that's a large rights. army. One. Hail, my king! Hang on, it's not, it's not in range of Novgorod. Here's the thing, if you take Novgorod, you're going to need to get the fuck out of there. You'll have to come over here and, and like, extradite yourself back into your own territory afterwards, because they'll take it back. We just don't have enough force to, to claim it. And hold us. But we can kill whoever's there. Exterminated them. They, uh, the Holy Roman Empire deserves nothing de short of death after that. Okay, can we get rid of this? Marching to war. Sire. Sending some more fuckers from over here. The war then, sire. Oh damn it! They're gonna get the settlement now too. Sire, we should withdraw. Well, it was um, a doomed situation as it was anyway. And I don't have a lot of money. All of my forces are elsewhere. Like it's just it's just something that we can't deal with right now. Hail my king. As you will, my king. Orders. As you wish. Hail my king. Sire. Orders. Marching to war, my lord. To war then, sire. Let's keep bashing these guys up. The day is ours, sire. So he's in there. Hail my king. The, one of the problems here is like I could raise an army and send him in to, to go and kill them, but he'd need a lot of force, and everywhere is plagued. So I, I really just can't justify recruiting any force right now. They've attacked at the perfect time. With honor. Because everything just is in complete quarantine. Continue tomorrow, my liege. But like I said, they'll get a few early victories and then I will fucking kill them. When I find their king, I will k execute him for this, this betrayal. Hail now, my king. this. That is cowardly. Fight Push me. them out of the way. I okay, that's actually kind of good if they come out here. Engage. We want to fight them in, in the settlements, because you're good to kill them. Good, kill as many of them as you can. You like. I will take your... As you command, my liege. Laying siege, noble sire. Okay, that's easy enough. Kill off their family member there, and some cavalry here. They'll come in from the northwest, alright. I could night attack, but like I said, we want to kill them. To your name, so if sire. we want to save our king, he needs to... He needs to get himself out of this territory immediately, and head back to safer, safer lands. Raise a new army and head back to attack the Mongols again. Like I said, I just I can't attack all enemies at once. Mongols have to be dealt with now because if you leave them for too long, since all their units are free upkeep, or just about all of them, they just build up massive this armies. This moment, my English friends, is one worth living to the full. We stand on the field of battle and place our fates in the hands of God. I have no doubt that he will reward virtue with victory when I see so many honest, manly faces in our company. I do not think honest English men-at-arms should feel anything other than pity when they see our Mongol foes. Pity for the horses having to support such asses. <laughs> Our 
foes have the advantage in cavalry, and we lack spearmen. But if we fight with true English courage, their advantage will count for little. And now, I trust my life and victory to the judgment of the Almighty. For I know our cause to be true and just. So pray, you miserable English buggers, and make sure God knows you think the same! Okay. So they'll be coming in from over here. Probably best to have the archers deal with them. If you could just knock down that gate, that would be good. Alright, have them waiting for us. Uh, we're going to pick the best ground we possibly can, because it does make a difference with archers. I think up here would be, would be ideal. Put them in loose formation as well. Whatever. And these guys will finish off the general, no problem. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in gallantry. So these ones over here, pretty sure they're all horse archers. Maybe not then, they look like lancers. Oh. The gates are down! Alright, you go in. Maybe I should have put spikes down. Oh well. Still confident we'll win. So those there, don't worry about them. Shoot. Shoot the fucking lancers. Like said, all that guys will be left behind anyway, so it really doesn't matter that much. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Even the uh, the culvert needs to be left behind because this is going to slow our, slow our king down. He needs to get the fuck out of there, or else he's going to die. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. I'll take him out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. The enemy army flees by St. George. We've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Finish him off. Okay, good. Now he can rest at our leg. Right, now they just need to uh, kill this general in here. And we've deprived them of all their settlements. By St. George! For a short our men time. have taken control of the city. That's okay. That short time is all I need to get back to Thorn, pick up some more troops, bring them back over here, take out more of their armies. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. And you better believe we're going to be executing prisoners. These Mongols are worse than just Muslims. The enemy are the badly Mongols, bloody. They deserve nothing less of they death. have lost half their men. Uh, there's no sense in sacrificing more of our men unnecessarily, except All their surrender. All of Christendom will be awed by the vic- And execute no, the prisoners. this is not how a warrior should die! Fuck you. Ah! You should stay in your own dirty fucking step, piece of shit, horsey lands. By God's will, we have triumphed! Victory, my liege! A most noble people conquest. in flight. Look at that, they all just disappeared somewhere. They're flying. They just. Yeah, they ran off somewhere. That's okay, that's good then, because. Now you can stay there and you're okay. I mean, I don't want to keep you here. Sire. Hail my king. The troops are gonna be plagued, but that doesn't mean you have to have plague. So you get the fuck out of there. Let's get you back, uh. Back, back to Thorn. So yeah, you can pick up some troops. Hail my king. With honor, sire. Yes, my liege. Good. And the thing is, they got flung into Russian territory. So maybe they'll go and
bother the Russians, or maybe the Russians will, will take him out. How strong are the Russians? Let's have a look. Because I haven't seen them with anything other than, like, shit armies. So overall, they're higher ranked. Their military ranking is about the same. Well, actually, it's lower than the Mongols. You can see the Mongols really punch them quite hard. But the Russians have territory, and the Mongols don't, so... Be aggressive. Smash them up. I don't want to be dealing with full fucking stacks again. Hail my king! Alright, cool. We're, we're at an hour and a half here, so this is a good position to end the episode. So, regions controlled 83. The Holy Roman Empire is on the warpath, which is a problem, because I don't have any soldiers nearby there. And a lot of settlements are still plagued. Now, the thing is, if I was to recruit troops right now, the problem is, the more troops I have in these settlements, the more the more attrition they take, essentially. So we need to wait for these plagues to be over so that we can recruit fresh troops without them taking attrition. And then we can go back and retake all this shit. Because I've got the money to, to easily take out the Holy Roman Empire. But it's dealing with all the other shit that we've got going on everywhere. And there is absolutely no point in even trying to get a peace treaty. Because it's just... Actually, yes, that but... might be our only chance of, of uh, saving the settlement. Let's give it a shot. I cannot do that. Have you come for the Kaiser's forgiveness? If... Because if this works, we... We buy ourselves a bit of time. If I was to pay them... Fucking... 40,000... And map information... I'd, I'd, I'd pay that. Nine. No. They'll never accept it. Like I said, peace treaty is, is not going to happen. Um, anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 16 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.